I think, in, especially in screenwriters' cases, not so much television writers, uh, screenwriters have to really remember how much contention has been a part of what they've achieved in the business, going back to the foundation of the Guild. Um, there was a Writers Guild of sorts in the teens. The studios didn't have to negotiate with it, and so they didn't, and so it became just a social club. It had no teeth at all. When writers thought about organizing in the late 20s, the producers formed the Academy. And a lot of people don't remember that the Academy was really formed to be a company union. The Academy had a writer's division that was there to, quote unquote, solve any labor problems between writers and the studios. And of course, it was a company, it was a company organization. It had no intention of representing writers. When writers finally started to organize in the 30s, the companies tried to undercut them by setting up a company union called the Screen Playwrights and dangling out incentives to anybody who joined the Screen play Playwrights. More money, better seat in the commissary, you know, you can direct, you can produce, um, to break the union. The union fought for 10 years before it got a contract. And every increase in the contract has been through contention, especially in the sense of screenwriters. The executives have never really understood writers in terms of what motivates them. The employers have always understood employees, they understand employees' pride, but the kind of pride in, I've shown up every day and I've never taken a sick day, you know, I, I come to work on time. I'm obedient. They don't understand a writer's pride in what he does and why a writer feels strongly about what he does. Um, they've never understood why writers would want recognition. That, that's not what an employee wants. Um, and so whatever writers have achieved has always been through contention. And I think, I'm not saying we need to be contentious this time, but I think we have to be prepared for it. And I think that's something you get from reading the history, that um, only by being very tough-minded have writers ever gotten any place in this business.